Hey guys, KRX50 here and welcome to another installment of Retro Beyblade Reviews. This time I'll be looking at Gronzer V from Beyblade V-Force. Gronzer V, or Gronzer Volcano, is the third incarnation of Gronzer and the first to use the Magnet Core system. It is once again a five-piece Beyblade, had a launch number cord, which I have right here, but these aren't the ones that originally came with it, but these will be the ones I'll be using. So let's take a look. It's basically got a sim. Well, of course, it, here's its all around design top, side, and bottom. Has five pieces. Well, it kind of has six, but it, it's kind of between five and six, and you'll see what I mean when I take it apart, which I'll be doing right now. Just take off the attack ring, remove the weight disc, undo the clips from the blade base, which is still a little tricky. Take off this piece, remove the spin gear. Then, for sit keeping, put these clips back onto the blade base. And snap out the bit clip, and I'll get that. Sorry, it flew off the table. So once again, we can uh, zoom out a little bit and take a look at the parts. Uh -huh. Just rearrange them first. And so here we go. First we have the bit chip. Once again, depicting Gronzer the Red Phoenix. This one's got a different design from the one from last time. And uh, you can barely see the colors of it. I saw this is not a uh, hollow foil. We have the uh, attack ring, which has these four points with a red sticker on each of them. And once again, the kind of phoenix head. But of course, since there are four points, there are four phoenix heads. There are also these two green stickers that read, read out Gronzer V. And as you can see, the orientation of this is designed for being attached to a right spin Beyblade. We have the weight disc, very simple. And as you can see, this one's dull. The one I showed you last time was a weight disc that miraculously, miraculously managed to stay shiny and not have dulled, even though I, I'm pretty sure I've had that one for years. I've had all my weight discs for years. and. So, past that one, you're not likely to be seeing any more shiny, non-dulled weight discs. We have the blade base, which has these four red stickers that each read Gronzer V. And once again, two clips. Then we have the spin gear, which is a, which is a different kind of spin gear called a magnet core. And as you can see, it's split up into two parts. This, there's this part, and then there's this part, which, as you can see, attaches into the slot by magnet. And I will go over how the magnet core system works once I reassemble it. Now, there is something I uh, failed to mention in my last video about Drones RS, is that the style of blade base with these two clips attaching to hold in the spin gear is not the original is not the original design for a blade base and spin gear here's a very early blade base and spin gear and what you'll see is that there are no clips and the spin gear is actually screwed into the blade base meaning that the very earliest Beyblades were not quite as com were not 
quite as customizable unless you want to unless you were willing to unscrew the spin gear and then put in another one that you'd have to screw in. So now I can reassemble it in the same manner as I assembled Drons R S. Take out the two clips, put in the spin gear or well well since this is a magnet core spin gear, I will uh, for the duration of this review being be referring to it as a magnet core. And secure it with the two clips. Place in this part which acts as the tip. Place on the weight disc. Secure the attack ring. And place in the bit tip. Now the magnet core system does work based on the magnet that's in the core. Now, this is not exactly used in terms of the valence interacting with each other. Because since the magnet is focused in the core and extends down to the tip, it won't really have much of any effect on the opposing Beyblade. And that's where these come in. The magnet core system revolved around this set of magnets. Now, these are which one... Now, these are, well, at least how much of them I have left. I do believe that the original Magna Core set came with more magnets than these. The way these work is that the original set that the Magna Cores came with, Magna Core magnets came with, had a kind of tray to it, had a bunch of different slots that you could place, that you could arrange the magnets in. And what this would do is it affected the way the Beyblade could move in the base stadium because the polarity is not one that attracts the magnets, but the kind that repels them. So it had an influence on the way the magnets moved. And I will give you an example of that. After given a standard test launch, so I have one to record. Let's get that in like there. Get that in like that. Secure the Beyblade and let it. This one's got a nice steady movement pattern. Doesn't move too far or too wide. This moves pretty simple. Not too much to it, really. And now to give an example of how the magnet core system works in conjunction with these magnets. I'm just gonna make a random array of them in the area that the base stadium goes in. Just gonna spread them around a little bit. Then place them underneath the base stadium like so. Then set up again. Inserting the ripcord into the launcher. The hatching bay blade. And let it Just gotta do one more test. Because that one uh, didn't show too well because uh, the camera wasn't really focused on the center. Let's I can see there are some places that. Yeah, the, as you can see, you can kind of see the magnet's effect where it's kind of pushing the bay blade around as it approaches the positions of the magnets. 
and that's basically how the magnet core system works. It's it was basically created to add a new dynamic to the way Beyblades battled by using magne magnetic influence to change the ways that Beyblades could move within the base stadium. Well, besides that, it's a pretty standard Beyblade. And really, you couldn't you couldn't take for example full advantage of the Magnacore system unless you bought the special Magnacore set. And so that's Dronzer V for you. Now I didn't show Dronzer F because I couldn't find all the parts to that, so I decided to skip directly to V. But it is. Uh, you know, basically for the purpose of uh, showing off the magnet core system, because I don't have too many, uh, I don't have the pieces to reconstruct too many magnet core Beyblades, so I thought I'd uh, get one out of the way as early as I could. And so with that, that'll be it for my videos for today. I'll get in a couple more tomorrow, and they will and they will be for the Retro Beyblade Review Series. And I guess that's, you know, if you're smart enough and intuitive enough, you can probably figure out what those uh, videos will be by the two Beyblades I reviewed today. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, writing off.